G'day guys, it's John from Oz General Store. Hope you're keeping well. Today I thought I'd run through our uh, quick run engine test stand, which we manufacture in-house. It's Australian made. This video serves as an instructional tutorial. I'll go through the parts that we supply and how to put it together. All of our parts were designed to be fully adjustable to suit any application that you might have. In this kit we supply four heavy duty caster wheels Two are braked, two are standard, all of them swivel. There are two options when you are looking to mount your gearbox. We have a bell housing support. The bell housing bolts into one of these holes of your choosing. And a gearbox support. So the tail end of the gearbox will sit directly onto here. You can decide to move it in or, in or out. My advice is to strap it and we can provide the straps, no problems. These particular parts hold the radiator and they are mirrored. This piece forms the top of the radiator. We have cross member sections here. These four pieces form the basis of the frame, which I'll show you in a sec. These smaller pieces hold the frame together. In every kit we supply a mounting bracket in case you would like to purchase a console particular kit there's no welding required we supply all of the fasteners and of course the end caps to make it look pretty first you want to organize your workspace if it's elevated that's better if it's on the ground then so be it what we're going to do is we're going to organize the base frame into the position that we want it to be and then we're going to bolt that up You have holes either side for your cross member piece. Before you assemble your corners, you want to get your mounting blocks and to telescope over your main frame pieces. Lay out your support mounts where they need to be. Each piece of the frame has a section that's slightly longer than the other side. The part that's slightly longer will be where the engine lies. So if you think about it, this is the front of the stand and that is the rear of the stand. The engine support mounts look like this with one hole. The cross member support has two holes. This particular part holds the bell housing mount and also the gearbox mount. You'll see what I mean when I put it together. Grab your piece and slide it over your frame, like so. As you have your frame laid out, grab your cross member pieces and put them into position. We have this particular piece which has a smaller holes, which goes right in the centre, creating the support. Our secondary piece is used for the gearbox support mount. Just lay it in place. Before you put your cross member piece in the slots of your mounts, you want to get your gearbox mounts, these two pieces. There's two little uh, nuts welded on the ends. You put that on the rear. So what you want to do is you want to telescope your gearbox to whatever width it is. And there you go. Grab your L brackets and lay them out on every single corner. You can see that it lines up perfectly with the holes. For every single corner, you're going to have an L bracket. Like so, I'll just leave that on the side. Let's go and get the flat plate mounts. You're supplied with three flat plate mounts. They go on the underside and underneath that we have our caster wheels that sit under there for extra support. So one corner is going to have the console mount, so it's up to you where you decide to put that. If I were you, I'd probably put it at the rear of the engine. So let's lay this out like so. 
perhaps you would like it on this side. Let's go and grab our tea pieces. So you have four tea pieces, and that is just for the centre cross member section. So it's the top, and then you have another one for the bottom. So top, and then bottom, top, and then bottom. Let's look at our remaining parts. These particular sets are mounting parts, so we don't need to worry about them for now. This is our radiator support brackets. So we'll need to telescope these parts onto the front cross member there before we assemble everything up. This is a top radiator support, so we don't need to worry about that for now. All your bolts are provided. There's three different types with two different sizes. I'm not going to go into that. I'm sure you guys can figure out the size of nuts and bolts. Okay, guys, I've organized the bolts. Come around this side and let's have a bit of a look. Okay, so. So these three are for these holes on the corner. You'll also have a smaller bolt which attaches to the base plate and the caster wheel. So you'll supply it with four, each with a washer. These four smaller bolts, complete with two washers, are for our radiator support. Come on round here. So these are for these holes here. These bolts with the single washer are to tighten your telescoping sleeves. So how I would tackle this is I would just lay it out like so. There's another bolt just there. And you can see the radi radiator support Wires bolts as well. I'll leave those over there. I'll lay out these ones on every corner. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Let's focus on the centre cross frame. They're M8s, so they're quite skinny. Have a look at the holes, there's four of them, so there's four either side. Okay, so the remaining bolts that we divvied up for each of our caster wheels, you'll have six of them left. These are larger bolts and they are for the engine mount itself. So let's take it over here. So. There's one on either side where the engine mount is. Come around this side, we can see the engine mount. There's one when it telescopes in, and then there's one to connect it to the actual engine itself. Okay, so you have one, two, three. Okay, we have our last remaining bolts here. They relate to the gearbox support. So you've got two on either side. And we provide two bolts through the gearbox mount or the bell housing mount. All right, we're ready to go.
halfway through building our frame, what I've done is I've put the brake on and I've lifted it up to give us a little bit of leverage because we're going to have to lift this part up and put the wheels underneath. Before you mount the front of the frame, you'll need to slide the radiator support pieces and telescope them over, so we'll do that now. For this next part, you may need a friend, somebody that can help you out, just to hold these pieces so they don't fall backwards. Okay, looks a little wonky, we'll tighten everything up now. assembled and now we need to tighten up all the nuts and bolts so for that you'll just need a wrench and a ratchet Tightened everything up and now it's time to get it on the ground and rolling. Let's grab the belt housing mounts. Chuck her in. Okay, we have the piece here, we're on a, the final stretch. It goes in like so. The large hole up the top connects directly to your engine block. We have two bolts here the side to securely fasten your gearbox mount. I've assembled the whole kit, here it is. I've left this loose here because we're going to work on this frame and uh, you know, work on an engine. Your gearbox mounts are interchangeable so I've put them to the side until they're ready to be used. Last thing to do to finish it off is you've got these end caps which go on the end over here so let's chuck them in. Another quality product by Hugh Murray and Sons since 1903, completely Australian made. Thanks for checking out our tutorial.